button the... Uh, okay, fine. I guess the defense missions are still a little broken. Anyone up for some volatile? Hey, what's happening everybody? Hope you guys are feeling great. I'm Team Kills, and what I like to do is make gaming easier. And this time, I'm gonna explain the Railjack Volatile missions and a couple ways to make it easier. This, this won't take long. Now first, you're gonna have to do your Railjack mission part, you know, flying around, that kind of stuff, of course. And don't forget to check whatever stage or special level area, whether it's Oricon, Derelict, Ice, cavern whatever it may be depending on where you are now you're gonna have to kill some enemies maybe one or two cruise ships then blow up some shield array sensors so you can get inside of this big thing now what to do isn't really that hard once you know what to do otherwise this mission kind of just ends in a failure for absolutely no reason now simply put you want to blow this thing up and the corpus they don't want you to do that because they live here it's, it's a big ship now what you need to do is hack this console. I don't know why they have a console that blows the ship up, but you need to hack this console and it's gonna start breaking the ship. Now what you wanna do is keep this bar in this square until this timer reaches 100. Now the corpus will keep sending foot soldiers because they wanna stop you, they don't wanna die. But the higher the number gets, the more enemies that you're going to see. So it will get tougher. Now you can kill them if you want, but it's not your priority. Your priority is to keep that bar in that square. Now the way you do that is by venting or blowing up vents. Let's go to Warframe. That's, you cool things down by blowing it up. Now this gauge lowers a section, every vent that you blow up, so not too much, otherwise you'll be there forever. And not too little, otherwise mission over. Now as we cool the temperature gauge with fiery explosions, the corpus is gonna send a Mr. Fix-It engineer bastards and they're actually not trying to fix anything. They're just gonna go over the computer and turn it off. Just with a simple boop, beep, whatever. It's just like, all you're running around jumping is just gonna, anyways. So kill them before they get to the console. You don't have much time. Now making this easy, First, you want at least two people. You and another teammate, it really makes a huge difference. If you got four frames in there, you might not need the next four tips, but if you're going solo, this might help. First, try and pick a Warframe with a leave them there crowd control. Frames like Nova, Nyx, Neza can really tie up a room. Ooh, Bedtime Murderer Loki. Oh man, that, that might be perfect for this. I actually built that with the corpus tile set in mind. Anyways, anyways, you want a Warframe that can tie people up. You also want an item-based Sentinel or Railjack friend. Anyone that you could say, stay here and run away. They will guard that area and really make things a lot easier. Now, if you've leveled your tactical section in your Railjack up to level five, you can take a Necromech on any Railjack mission you want. Now, with a Necromech, you don't need a crowd control frame. You actually really don't need a Sentinel to stay there either. You could keep it out, but you won't really need it. The mech has so much power, and if you're using the Void Rig, it's got an invincibility stage, so you don't have to worry about them shooting at you. Now, if you're using a mech, I don't personally like this weapon, but the Phylactus, I think that's how you say it, it shoots through walls. It's really, really useful. You don't have to jump up and down and make sure you're shooting the right angle. You just need to shoot in the right area. It really makes things so much easier. And since you're using a Necromech, that's your plan. Hopefully it's your plan if you can do that. But if that's your plan, then you might as well take Excalibur Prime, um, Umbra. I'm gonna get shot. Excalibur Umbra. See, the funny thing about him is his soul is still trapped in the Warframe. So, when you're running around the Necromech, he actually gets to run around and be free. He's mad about the whole trapping thing, so all he does is kill stuff. He's actually a pretty good Spectre or Sentinel. X will just follow you around and put some work in. He's he, he's very upset about his situation. 
Anyways, any one of these tips is going to make your life a hell of a lot easier. And if you put more than one together, you're going to be laughing. For example, let's say your Railjack Tactical isn't up to level 5, so you don't even have a Necromech. You could take the Philoctus with a Gravity Mag and Banshee, running with Silence or any of her abilities. It'll work really, really well. What I'm saying is, you've got options to take these tips and make them work with whatever you're doing. Now, I do suggest you check out that whole Loki bedtime murderer thing. That really, that'll make this a breeze. But on that note, like I said, I want this quick. So, I really, really hope this has helped. If it has, join the team of killers. Become a killer of teams. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Make sure you keep it easy. And remember, just keep gaming. Oh, oh, I just, one more thing, sorry. Just wanted to say, the whole using Excalibur Umbra with his soul still in there, it's kind of dark, if you think about it. It's kind of like driving around Lightning McQueen if his door's opened. Um, I don't know. It's, I swear we're the bad guys. It's just my opinion.